All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half -block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, Weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Palm Springs, California, the Ghost. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. Alright, give the rules in the locker room. Once you've been my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission. Ah, huh? uh, it's crazy. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. 
hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Ooh, big shot lands. Checks the leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow land from the clip. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands. Boom. Slips to avoid the run. Digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Good stick. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Nice leg kick. Just misses with that one. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Watch the shot. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Single collar tie. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cup's been opened up, but got to think at some point there's going to be some blood. You got to be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Caught that kick there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. Final seconds here. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Two the punch, got to the target. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. All right, here we go as our next round gets okay, underway. That was some ready? serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angle. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Good punch, Lance. 
Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. And he landed the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. Great punch. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Oh! Oh! Big elbow! Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. You're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Stuff to take down, no problem. That's a big strike right there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Able to check that kick as well. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Looking for that left hand. Not there. Punch is blocked. Call single collar tie here. And they separate. Just misses with the jab there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick and all I can think of. Better him than me. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would so. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Lance with the right hand. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Shot to the body is blocked. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that hook. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out 
but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. A uh, little single collar tie there. Good he take toss down. as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. He's having his way with him here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Switching stances here. Single collar tie now. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Yeah, that was a really on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Visibly limping here. Right on the button. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. What a jab has been. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Trying to stay in this fight! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And just misses with that big right hand. Great punch landing with so much power. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. That one was thrown to end the fight. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch from the clinch. Misses with that punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. Oh! The dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. He's throwing every part of himself. Oh! He's got him right here. Diving punch lands. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Good, solid strike on the ground. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up at the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now. All right, so inside the open part of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And a miss with the right hook. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Beautiful punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. 
Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. That right hand hurt him a little bit. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, huge elbow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. <laughs>